So today I'm going to teach you how to create a pie chart and then get that pie chart into WeVideo so that you can use it for your video. So what you need to do is you obviously need to collect your data for whatever your question or data collection tool is going to be. I'm just going to pretend right now that my question is, what's your favorite color? So let's just pretend that we have um, blue is one of the colors and then red is another one, green and orange just for fun. All right, and then we'll put some random numbers. We'll say 57 said blue, 46 said red, 32 said green, and four people said orange. Okay, so now that's my data. All right, I'm going to hit control A and that highlights everything here. Or I can just highlight only this stuff, but it's important that I highlight my data one way or the other. Control A highlights everything, um, or you could just manually highlight what you need. We're going to go to insert. We're going to click on chart. And that should automatically generate a chart for us, which it did. And that's great. So this is a column chart, not what we want. We don't want a bar chart. We don't want a column chart. Said I'm going to click over here and I'm going to change it to a pie chart. Now, if you'll notice, for the most part, it was actually pretty good in terms of like blue was blue, red was red, just that color. So you do have the option to customize stuff um, by clicking over here, go to customize, and then you can click on the individual pie slices. And then like for green, I can change the color to green. And then like orange, I can change it to actually orange. And then it just makes a little bit more sense with mine. So if you have a reason to change your colors, you may want to do that. Now, if you did all this, and by the way, if you ever click out of it, and you're like, how do I get back to that? Just click on it once. And then the three dots appear over here. And then you can click on edit chart to edit it again. Now, some people, for whatever reason, it doesn't have this part marked. And if you do that, look, it all is just solid blue which is not helpful. So if yours looks like solid blue, just make sure you have this thing clicked right here where it says switch row slash columns. And then where it says use row one as labels, it doesn't seem to really matter if you do that or not, but mine is marked. So maybe you should do the same thing. So this looks good so far. I wouldn't say I'm done yet though, because one of the things is I'd like for people to look at this chart and know what it's really about. So let's go over here to the chart and axis titles and where it's the name for the chart, why don't we put the name of the question that I'm asking, which is, I'll say, what is your favorite color? And now up here at the top, so now people know what's going on. The other thing is that you may want to have the actual number posted on here. So if you go up to here to pie chart, it says slice label, and then you can put the value there, and then it'll say the number that goes along with it. It does not, there's no way to have the total number of people if you wanted to. Like if I wanted to add up all these numbers, if I really wanted to do it, I could say like out of 125 students, if I wanted to. It's not necessary though to do that. Anyway, here it is. My pie chart is done. Now what I need to do is get it onto WeVideo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this again. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to say download PNG. That's going to save it, and I'm going to have it in my little folder over here with everything. All right, so here's my, my image. I'm going to move this off to the side so I can have access to it if I need to. I'm going to go back to WeVideo here, and now here's my WeVideo. This is just a sample project I was working on, and let's just say that I wanted to incorporate it right over here, okay? Um, or how about over here? This will make more sense now. All right, so sorry for the loud volume out of nowhere. Maybe I'll just lower that volume. So, all right, let's just say I wanted to put the pie chart over this. Well, first I need to get the pie chart in here. So I'm going to import the media. Now I can browse to select, or I can just open this up. And remember I said to move it over to the side. So drag it over the side so I can see this and see that. And then I can click and I can drag this over, let go. And now it's going to upload that as an image that's going to appear on here. Wonderful. So now that I have here, I can drag this onto the timeline. And you may notice two different things, which is one, if I hit this one, sorry, I thought I had the volume off, but I did not. All right. Now, if I hit play on this one, it just, this takes up the whole screen and this is fine. So I can leave it like this if I want to. And while I'm doing this, if I want to, I can click on narrate and then I can like narrate over while I'm looking at this. And I can say, what is your favorite color? After interviewing students in CDW, we found out that the most popular color was blue, followed by red. Thanks for watching. That might be something I would say over the narration right there. If I wanted to, 
I could also resize this. So I can double click on this one and I can change the scale, right? So I can drag it to make it smaller. And then I can like sort of move it over here. If that makes sense for it to happen, it may not make sense for mine because you wouldn't be able to see it so well. So I'm going to click on cancel. So um, it doesn't do that. So it just stays as the full screen right over here. So again, this might be something that you have near the end of your video right there with the pie chart, easy to see with, of course, you providing context for it. Make sure you have a title on it so everyone understands why it's here and what it's all about. All right. And then that is how you make sure that you get your pie chart onto WeVideo. Um, hopefully that was helpful.